I'm sad to see what's going on what's happening in Hillsborough. Hi, Will Baker with What's Happening Hillsborough. Today we're starting a new series called Meet the Manager. This is where we're going to introduce to you the various department heads for the town of Hillsborough and they can give you a little more information on what they do for the town and what's happening in Hillsborough. So first today we're going to talk to Margaret Howe. Uh, good morning, Margaret. Good morning, Will. Now your title is Planning Director, is that correct? Yes. How long have you been with the town of Hillsborough? About 20 years. 20 years. I started here when I was finishing up my degree at Carolina after I moved south from Pennsylvania. So. Nice. And how many employees do you have? I have three. Well, what exactly does a planning director do? Well, the planning department is charged with regulating development, so land development, anything from building a fence to running a home business to building the new UNC hospital in Waterstone. All of that comes through this department. And I have different people that specialize on di in different things. Some do a little bit of recreation planning and some do the historic district and transportation and other specialties. So if I was a regular homeowner and I was wanting to build a house in Hillsboro, I would need to come and contact you guys? Yes, the process starts here and then um, we would actually issue them what's called a zoning compliance permit and they can take that to Orange County who we contract with to do our building inspections and secure their actual building permit, which is what think folks are more familiar with is the building permit. Okay. They would get that from Orange County and um, finish up the process with them. Well, what if I was building a house and I, and I wanted to make some changes? So what I need to get with you guys as far as? Yes, we strongly encourage folks to come back and if there's any change at all, especially something that changes the footprint of a project or if it's something that has required landscaping or anything, if there's some change that they want to make, we encourage them to come see us first because we can usually modify it simply on the permit. It's an easy thing to do, but it's a whole lot easier to catch it before it's done rather yeah. than after it's done just in case what they want to do either triggers a new review or something different. So what's happening in the planning department? Well, the really big thing that we're working on now is um, completely rewriting the development ordinances. Right now we have two different documents, um, one to handle just generic zoning, which people are very familiar with, uh, land uses and setbacks, and then the subdivision regulations that talks about the creation of new lots. And having those in two different ordinances with two different processes is you know, confusing for everybody and we're in the process of merging those two documents into one called the Unified Development Ordinance. So one document would cover both the just regular homeowner and a subdivision? Correct. One document, one set of processes folks could kind of get used to. Oh, I got a letter from the town. They're telling me this is going on. There's going to be a public hearing. There's going to be an opportunity for me to comment. And it just kind of helps everyone understand by keeping the processes more common between the all of the reviews, it makes it easier for the public to understand what's going on. So what's the process of that, uh, getting that document done? Do you have to take that before the board to get it approved? We do, and we started um, roughly a year ago doing some surveying of the public, finding out what, it, what were the things that folks really wanted to see as requirements in the ordinance. We've taken that, we've merged the two documents, and now we have good draft language that we're ready to share with folks and we have two open houses coming up, um, one right after Thanksgiving and then one early in December. And then we also have to have a series of public hearings on the text of the new ordinances and that hearing will be on December 16th in the town barn at 7 p.m. And if anyone wanted any more information, uh, what's, what's the best way to go about that? If they could come to either of the open houses on, on Monday the 29th or Tuesday the 7th, or you know we've got a load of stuff on the website every piece of language that we have written is out there and posted for folks to review we're happy to have comments on it and um, just through the town's regular planning website when they get to the planning page there's a rewrite section if they can click to that and follow all the all the chapters are listed there and what's the website address it's www.ci.hillsboro.nc.us and since that's so long, we'll tell folks that they can also just Google Hillsborough NC and they'll get the first website that comes up. Well, thank you so much for your time today, Margaret. Thanks, Will. Come back next time for another edition of What's Happening Hillsborough.